Check, check. Guess I'm not sure why it has that buzz. Um, okay, this is a very difficult video for me to make. I don't know why I'm so nervous about it. Um, okay, I think it's because it's something I've been dealing with for a long time that I haven't really spoken about um, in a way that I want to. Um, so May is Mental Health Awareness Month, um, which is also my birthday month. Um, so I've just been kind of thinking about my life and what I've, I guess, felt and experienced up to this point and, uh, just getting to know myself better and knowing the reason why I behave the way I do and, and just loving that and just accepting that part of me, um, that may seem strange to other people, but, um, it's something that I need to learn to love about myself. So I guess I'm making this video, um, I don't know. I think I'm making it uh, for myself in the sense where it's like I need to have a space to be able to be vulnerable. Um, and even if that means I'm just talking to my cameras, um, I think we need each other. I think everybody needs each other. I think people in the world need each other. I think young people need each other. I think older people need each Like, I just, I just think that the world is filled with people that need love. Um, and sometimes that can come in the form of like just listening to somebody that may be going through something similar to what you're going through. Um, cause I know that's always helped me in the past just to not feel alone. I think mental health, I think one of the biggest things with mental health is just feeling alone in this, like feeling like nobody understands you. You're feeling a certain way, but you don't know how to verbalize it. So people just kind of like brush it off. Um, and so I've got a really good support system around me, um, my family, in which I think is crucial to um, I think having a support system that could be a friend, could be a girlfriend, a parent, um, I think I think you need a support system to to just know that you're not alone. So it's super, 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 super important. Um, so I guess I just, um, I missed my therapy session this morning. And I'm mad at myself because I had another doctor's appointment that I made at the same time. So it was like, even though I was missing my mental health appointment, like my talk therapy, I was still doing something else for my mental health. But I just made, uh, I just, um, let me just, let me just, uh, let me figure this out. So I have a stutter. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me like, yeah, I guess let me explain to you why I, why mental health is something that I deal with every day and why, um, it's something I hold very close to my heart. Um, so I have a stutter. Oh, and, and fuck. Um, the reason I say this, and I think the reason a lot of people maybe don't ask for help is because it's like, I don't want, I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. And I, and I know a lot of people that maybe feel similar to me. Like, I think sometimes the reason that they don't talk to people, cause this is why sometimes I don't talk to anyone. Cause like, I don't want you to feel bad for me. Like, I just want to, to be heard. Um, just be a sounding board for me. Um, and I think sometimes because of the pain that we're in, that we might not be able to verbalize the right way, it comes across as like, I want you to feel bad for me. No, I don't think any of us want you to feel bad. I think it's just a matter of like, again, knowing that we're not alone, knowing that what, you know what I mean? Okay, so when I was 12 or 13 years old, I developed a stutter and I think it would mostly be on like certain words and certain syllables like T's because it's, 
it's because the pressure on your tongue is like so there you go c's were hard um b's even my name like my name is alec right but that 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 hard a is hard um and i think one of the most debilitating things about having a stutter i guess in my case was like not being able to introduce yourself like somebody comes up to you hi i'm so and you're like hi i'm and you just kind of stare at them and they kind of look at you and they're like oh what did you forget your name or something and so i think having a stutter um really brought me in touch with myself because there were so many things that i was thinking about and so many things i wanted to say that I think I didn't know how. So instead I internalized it. Instead of putting it out, I just kept it in. Um, and it led to a lot of crazy thoughts and um, just self-loathing and a lot of, uh, just a lot of anxiety. Um, Jesus, like just, just, uh, I mean, every second, it's like uh, going to school, uh, meeting girls, uh, playing sports or um yeah just I've just had a long journey of like having to like wanting to love myself for reasons that are out of my control like it's not my fault that I was born with a, that that I uh, that I have a st 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 stutter right I mean it's not it's not um but so I think because of my inability to really verbalize the things that I wanted to, it led to this, um, you know, this internal conflict constantly of like knowing that I was capable. This is, so my phone is ringing and this is good timing to be able to explain this. So, um, I just want to wait till the phone stops ringing. So I think I'll just get right into this. So I have an auditory processing disorder and I, fo I found out, a, I found out six months ago that that's the reason that I have a, that I have a stutter. Um, so basically my ears and my nervous system are very sensitive. They're very in tune. I can pick up, I can hear things that you can't hear. I'm just being dead ass. I can... Um, anytime I hear something, even the, even the sound of the lights, if a light is on and you know how sometimes a light has like a buzzing, like, um, if I'm speaking, because right now I'm in a very quiet place, if I'm speaking and I hear something like dim, my brain attaches to it and it interrupts my, my, my thought pattern sometimes even hearing my voice in these in these headphones gets in the way of my thought pattern like of my fluency and when I talk um and this is something I didn't figure out until six months ago and I want to get to that but um I think the worst thing and something that I think really affected me and which is why I'm so passionate about like being open and being vulnerable um is because it sucks going your whole life having something and not knowing why it's like why do i why can't i talk why can't i say my name why am i so anxious why am i sad um and i think feeling that way a lot of my life um led me to wanting to stay home wanting to be in my basement, wanting to be in, a, in the dark, wanting to just be with myself because that was I, like, I guess that was the only time I felt safe was when I wasn't, was when I was when it was quiet and when I was by myself because I wasn't being dragged around by every single sound I heard, right? And so auditory processing, um, uh, Sensory disorders and auditory processing disorders fall, a lot of the time, fall under the same umbrella as ADHD or autism. Um, 
I think a lot of these symptoms and a lot of these things that come with a lot of these disabilities, um, they, they, they overlap with each, you know, like with each other. Um, but it has, you know, I, so I'm currently reading this book by Rick Rubin, um, which came to me at the perfect time in my life. My friend, um, I'm very close person that I'm working with. Um, his name is Crash, and he got me this book by Rick Rubin for my for my birthday. And it's basically he basically gave it to me at the perfect time because I'm currently dealing with a lot of sensory issues. Um, and basically, just the whole book is about um, just how being a great artist involves really being hypersensitive um and it's such a gift to be able to be so in to just be able to be in tune to be able to internalize and appreciate the foundation of things around me um in a very deep way um it's just how i live that's just who i am um and it's and it's and it's made me very good at like making music because I'm so in tune, it's, it's, it's like, that's where I'm, this is where I, like, this is where I can use my thing to my advantage, is when I'm in the studio, because when I hear something, I'm so, I'm, 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 I'm dr drawn in, so thank God, um, I'm able to have a job where I, where, I, where, where, where my actual thing, like, my actual disability comes, like, it, like, it, I'm, let me start over. I'm so blessed because um, if I didn't have this auditory processing, I, I, I don't know if I would be a, as good as I am at maybe making music um, or as emotional as I am. But it makes it so hard for me to like do like regular everyday things because I'm constantly just listening involuntarily um and so again it's like kind of just lost my train of thought because i was going off a little bit and uh just kind of lost my train of thought a second but anyway um i think the foundation of my struggle with mental health has been uh, my stutter slash auditory processing disorder, um, which causes me to stutter and causes me, you know, because when I hear something, it takes away my focus, right? So my, like, it's so hard for me to focus because my ears are going everywhere. But um, I just graduated from a rehabilitation program um, that's called Brain Balance. And God, I have so many things to say about it. And first of all, Brain Balance is a program that treats teens, kids, and adults um, that have cognitive struggles, um, ADHD, dyslexia, autism, um, a lot of those things. And just going throughout my life, I got to a point where I just, it was, it was, it was painful to exist. It's painful to exist. Um, and I hate saying that. I hate saying that because I'm not that kind of person. Um, but dealing with this freaking... That, you know, that's why I think it's so important to have such a good family or such a good support team around you. Because if I didn't have somebody to like bounce some of this shit off of, I I would have went crazy. You know, so um, basically, um, I enrolled in a program that was called Brain Brain Balance. Um, and going through the program, it's basically therapy uh, for your brain basically strengthens parts of your brain um that are not are weak um 
and stuttering and speech and audio um, is all attached to your brain. Like, uh, I think this ear is attached to like this, to your right brain and this ear is attached to your left brain. But going through this program, um, I was able to, to build a relationship with an amazing doctor there. Um, and he basically explained to me, you know, why I had this, I, I, I had to do an assessment and they had to assess me and I, um, and it's been a very intense ongoing therapy process. Um, but basically the reason that I stutter is because of a, is because of a right brain weakness that I, that I have, um, and I'm not sure how I got it. When I was a kid, I hit my head a couple times. Um, I cracked my head open. I cracked open like my scalp and had to get a few staples in my head. Um, I had something that was thrown at my head. Um, now that I think about it, I laugh um, because um, it was one of my best friends, and uh, you know we were horsing around, and I think something somebody threw something and it threw a rock and it hit me in the head. So there's 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 been a few times where I've hit my head, but it's never been anything where it's like, oh damn, I think it's because of that. But going through this rehabilitation process. Um, um, I'm just learning which parts of my brain affect my speech, um, and affect my anxiety. Um, cause I'm finding out that my stutter, um, is really linked to a brain weakness that I have, um, that also gives me anxiety. It also gives me, um, it makes me very sensitive and, um, I'm very right brained, um, which I think explains a lot of my, emotional and vulnerability and just uh I think it explains why I have kind of guided my life with emotions rather than logic I think sometimes um but anyway I just graduated from this program um and basically it got me off of a lot of my ADHD medication I was taking a lot of ADHD medication um too much and going through this program, I, w I was able to really lower it um, dramatically. Um, and as you can see, like my stutter has definitely gotten better. Um, this is the other thing is, is that when I wear headphones, right? When I wear headphones, like especially beats, because beats are very isolating. Um, when I wear headphones, it helps my stutter because it blocks out the sound. So the less sound I hear, the easier it is for me to talk because I'm not because I'm not being dragged by anything. Um, and so anyway, um, like mental health is something that I deal with every single day. And um, I think really the reason why I'm making this video is because like everybody's dealing with something. Everybody is dealing with something. And you are not alone. You are not. You're not alone. And I have gone to a lot of psychiatrists, been to a lot of therapists um, that didn't listen to me and made me feel crazy. Put me on a lot of medications I didn't need. Put me on schizophrenia medications. Put me on bipolar medications. Put me on a lot of antidepressants. Things that I didn't. Things that I didn't need. Um, when really the problem was because there's something disconnecting in my brain that affects my speech and it affects um, other emotional parts of my life that I'm working on building. And as I get older, um, I'm working on building these weaknesses that I, that I have. But, but um, I think the one thing that has allowed me to cope and that has allowed me to find peace is is surrounding myself with people who are not going to judge me and can hear what I'm saying and what I'm trying to verbalize to them without a predetermined thought. I think as I get older, I just feel like I'm not... Uh,
the world is fucking sometimes i just don't want to be in the world sometimes i don't want to be in the world i want to turn it off and i want to like just be with my family because like the world is too much it's too much um I think there's a lot of things that society has made normal that is not normal. Um, I think the world that we live in right now is tailor-made for, like, r robots. Like, people that do this, this, that, like, very structured, right? And I think people that are more creative and emotional, like me, have a very hard time, like, fitting in that environment. Um... Which is why I make videos like this because, you know, just like everyone, like I need someone to talk to. I, 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 I need to get out these feelings of, I don't know. And I don't even know what this is going to do. I don't even know why I'm, I'm just... I think I'm just trying to love myself, right? Like, like, like I'm just trying to hear myself and listen to the things that I'm saying about myself and like love myself for that, you know, like accept these things. Like I think hearing myself talk about some of the things that I struggle with is almost therapeutic because it's like, okay, it's out of my body now. It's out. Um, but you matter. You matter. There's a lot of people in the world. There's 8 billion people in the world. And every single one of you is very, very capable. Um, and I think that's also the thing, too. I live in such a small town, right, that, I, that everyone is pretty much the same. You know, everyone is pretty much the same. There's not, you know... And I think choosing the lifestyle that I've chose has been very isolating. Like that's, excuse me, that's the one thing about mental health that is so hard, especially when you have, when you feel feelings that you feel like nobody else can feel. It's so isolating. It is so isolating um, that you start to just enjoy being alone. Like the only time you have peace is when you're by yourself. Um, I don't know where this is going. I think I'm just ranting right now and just saying what comes to my mind in the in the moment. Um, but with all that being said, I'm here and I'm and I'm killing it. I'm coping. I got my family. Got my music. Got my doctors. Um, and I got my faith, you know, my faith has been such a crucial part of this whole experience because going through mental health stuff and like connecting the dots to your life, you, you, you can't help but go down this like spiritual path of like acceptance and understanding why these things happen and, and just accepting who you are. Like, I think the whole reason I wanted to to make this was is because like <sighs> everybody's dealing with something and you're not alone and life is meant to be enjoyed i think i put a lot of pressure on myself i think a lot of people put a lot of pressure on themselves like the meaning of life i think is life is meant to be enjoyed life is not life is meant to be enjoyed um and may is mental health awareness month like i said it's also my birthday month and i just want any i want everyone to know i want anybody watching um to know that the best thing you can do and the best thing that i ever did was come clean about everything and was really ask for help and like fight for i fought for myself i fought for myself when nobody um when maybe nobody really understood i still fought for myself and basically like you matter you matter 
You fucking matter. You were created for a reason. You have a gift. Um, and you are not alone. You are not alone. And I love you. I don't know what else to say. I love you. It's going to get better. It, it's There's so many times where I was like, this is never going to get better. And it, and, it, and, it, and it does get better. Even in the times where I'm so anxious, like frozen. There's this little thing in the back of my head that's like, it's going to get better. So hold on. Hold on a little bit longer. Hold on. I promise. I promise it'll get better. So thank you for allowing me, I guess, um, you know, I'm okay now. Thank you for allowing me to share my story. Um, uh, mental health is a huge part of my life. It's so funny, like, I even find, and I think maybe this is the reason why I was so nervous about making this video is because, like, m I, this is stuff that's in that I, that I breathe, I live and breathe this stuff every day. I even find that if I'm having a conversation with somebody that literally has not knows nothing about any sort of mental health, like mental health would just come into the conversation or like something. And I think I've gotten to a point where I'm so sick of uh, having it embody me. But at the same time, um, I think it's a gift that I am able to talk about it like this. Um, and yeah. Thank you for listening, and I hope you all have an amazing day. You deserve love. You deserve peace, and the universe has got your back. <laughs>